Good evening and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. I'm Nidhi Razdan and my guest tonight is someone who has had an incredibly distinguished career as a parliamentarian, 10-time Lok Sabha MP and presiding officer of a house that's been extremely stormy for the last five years. Well, now at the age of 80, Mr. Somnath Chatterjee, who's an avid cricket fan, is starting a new innings. Uh, he will soon no longer be the speaker of the Lok Sabha, but uh, he is planning to start a life of retirement, something his wife says he won't really ever be able to reconcile to. Mr. Chatterjee, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Uh, you know, you've occupied the real hot seat, I would say, for the last five years. And you've described the last five years as uh, my very troubled years. Why? Who troubled you and, and what happened? You say, uh, yes, I had the great uh, opportunity due to my party to be in the house for 10 terms, which is quite a long term, and a lot of opportunity to represent the party. I had never expected, far less solicited ever, even dreamt of it, of occupying that important seat. Troublesome in the years, I always believe in some perfection and job satisfaction, whatever I do. But I've said it openly, it's torture years for me, very troublesome period for me, and because I had no job satisfaction at all. You see, I felt uh, that having known all the leaders over the years, for so many years, personally, I claim many of them to be my personal friends, and I tried my best to cooperate, give them all opportunities. From the very beginning, I've been meeting them separately, <laughs> jointly, and I can say it openly, I don't know of any, any important subject which any opposition member wanted to raise, I did not allow. You sound very hurt actually, I mean, you're using strong words like these were, you felt tortured in these five years, you sound very hurt and, and I am disappointed. Hurt. I am hurt, because to, I say at the end of the day, at the end of the term, I find that 25% of the time of the house was uh, was uh, lost due to disturbances. But I know the politics of India is becoming more and more confrontational, has been, has become. And uh, it's almost no holds barred. Do you think that you were treated fairly by all political parties and members of the House? Uh, I didn't know that, I didn't know. I have some doubts whether I was personally uh, being targeted, but I realized, I must confess, I thought very deeply about it. Once I was so hard that I wanted to re uh, re resign. When was that? When that letter from Mr. Bajpai came, in which I was, uh, uh, it was clearly alleged that I didn't have any respect to occupy that chair, and obviously meant that uh, quite, a, that uh, clearly that I was unfit, although they had, BJP had themselves uh, proposed my name also. But I was, uh, I was comforted because Bajpayee came to my house in this very room where we are sitting. And he said, I'm, kuch nahi bola. I man se kuch nahi bola. I'm writing that in my memoirs. <laughs> I don't want to disclose it. But uh, apart from that, I felt except once or twice, there's so much tension between the government and the opposition. opposition. That was reflected, that reflected in the proceedings, disruption in the proceedings. However, I'm hoping uh, that my successor will have a better... <laughs> I, will, I will ask you what advice you'd give your successor. But, you know, you talked about this politics of confrontation. And we're seeing this unprecedented slanging match between the Prime Minister and Mr. Advani as we speak. In your experience as a parliamentarian, sir, have you ever seen the government and the opposition so bitterly at each other the way this government and this opposition are today? No, we had seen, of course, the Rajiv's time, Rajiv Gandhi's time. There was a lot of tension, and the first time, as you can recall, and also on other occasions, but sustained period of uh, sort of seeing eyeball to eyeball. I don't think it has either helped each, any of the parties or the most importantly, it has definitely not serve the institution. What are your thoughts on this confrontation between the PM and Advani? When you, when you hear them exchanging these words against well, each other? I don't think it is personal of one to, against each other. It is thought to be politically paying. That Mr. Today, Advani thinks it's very personal. Well, I'm not naming any, any person, any leader. I have personal respect for all of them. 